Hoggy, Portugal training camp. How have the past few days been? Excellent. Um, it's nice to get a bit of sun on your back after what's been a tough season. It's been long. Um, I think the lads needed a break. It's come at a perfect time and what better than um, before a final at Wembley. The, the mood seems to have changed this morning, a bit more concentrated and, and serious and, and really getting our minds onto the game. As the captain, is that pleasing for you to see? Well, we know how, how hard we've worked all season, so we're not going to come here and have an all day and jolly up and, do you know what I mean? It's, it's nice to get your flip-flops on, yeah, but when when we're here at the training pitch, it's, it's time to work and work properly, do you know what I mean? We've got a um, massive, important game for every individual here, the club, everyone involved. So we're not. It's, it's not time to take your boots off yet. It's time to get serious, and like I said, we've got we've got a cup final to prepare for. We've been saying it all year, but this squad has, has felt like a family, and we've brought the families with us. And it, it's clear that everyone's gelling, everyone's together. There's no separation or anything. It's a, a really unique and, and lovely thing to be a part of, isn't it? It is. It is. Um, last time I've, I've um, had this last time when we went to went to the final and managed to, to get to the Premier League. We've done exactly the same thing. We came to Portugal with all the misses, the kids, everyone who's involved, because it's not just the players on the field, it's it's everyone when you get home, your support that you've got behind you, your wife, your kids, everything, you know what I mean? You don't just do it for yourself, you do it for them as well. So it's nice to get everyone a little break before um, the serious um, part takes place. One thing that we've we've not tried to make too much of, but has obviously come up. You just touched on it. This is this happened before. We've been to the final before. You were the only person still in the squad from then, so you're in a unique position to to almost compare the two. Michael Heffel has tried his best on our channels a few times. What's it like for you? What's the what's the differences between the two squads? How, is there any similarities between the two? The um, the two squads are very, you can't say very similar, but. The togetherness that we've got and the mentality that we've got is second to none, and I think both squads had that in in abundance. So it's, it, it plays a massive part in what we're trying to do here. Like we want everyone to stick together, everyone to glue and build a family. Do you know what I mean? And this is certainly a, a good start to to where we want to be. Um, it's not it's not perfect by all means, but it's a very very strong squad, and the the personalities that we've got are, come together really well. After a tougher couple of years, this season's been a, a welcome return to form for us and, and that togetherness on and off the field between not only the players but the fans has returned. Regardless of what happens next Sunday, and, and obviously we know what the, the outcome we want is, mm. regardless of what happens, this is a massive positive for us and a, and a huge step in the right direction. 100%. The last two or three years has been a struggle, I think, from the year that we got relegated from the Premier League, the two years after that has... Everyone involved, like like you said, there's only myself here in this squad today. Um, that's been through it, and from where we were to where we are now is absolute streets apart. You know what I mean? And it's a credit to the the people behind the scene. Um, I think Lee Bromby, the chairman, all the scouts, and everything that they knew exactly where we were going wrong and what we needed to change. They've they've managed to do that. It's took a couple of years, but look where we are now. It's like you say, we've got one game away from the Premier League again, so two years ago, if you told me that, I would have laughed at you. We're not going to keep you much longer. Um, congratulations on the season we've had so far, and good luck for, for the next weekend. Top man. Can't wait.